I'm going to talk about your guy, KG, and now that he's going to go into the Hall of Fame and he's going to have his number retired here in Boston. I'll read one thing that Doc Rivers said. Doc Rivers said, Ray Allen, when he comes back to Kevin Garnett's retirement, he's going to get the greatest ovation. Your feeling about that? Um, I don't know why Doc is saying that. I don't know why he's um, – I know he's speculating and hope that I am there. Um, and, you know, I think it's – for Kevin, it's well-deserved that he – uh, gets his jersey retired, and I'm I'm proud of him. Uh, most people, what they I'm sure some people know, but most people don't know that Kevin was he was always like my young brother uh, growing up uh, in South Carolina. So to see how far you know we both have come uh, from those days in South Carolina, and for him to get his jersey retired in Boston is is an amazing accomplishment. You know, I used to always say like when you walk into the garden, you see all those jerseys up there, you know, all those great players. Like, you know, I don't think in sports you see that, you know, on any team, you know, just the, the, the legends that go up in those Raptors. So for him to have his name up there is an amazing accomplishment. And then uh, to be announced to the Hall of Fame, again, I, I remember him when he was 14 years old. Um, uh, as far as me uh, being there, um, <clears throat> I think that is, you know, a – a uh, subject that is really undecided uh, yet. Uh, it would take uh, Kevin and I to have a conversation, you know, moving forward. Um, and as, as you know, when I left, um, I left as a free agent. Um, I left um, because, you know, there were so many un unresolved issues that the team wasn't uh, considering or, you know, willing to change. You know, as a free agent, you want to know that, the team is going to do things you know they need to do. And so um, what is it now? It's, it's 2020. So you're, you're talking about, you know, nine years now. Um, and, you know, I've gotten so much hate, death threats, vitriol from, uh, from Boston fans, from, you know, obviously these guys have uh, kind of removed me from the big three, said so many negative things about me. And I haven't had one negative thing to say about you know, any of them, you know, we could talk about, you know, the things that we went through, you know, we've had tough times. We're brothers. We went through a lot, yeah. uh, but that doesn't change anything that we've done. And so it just, it, it did, it hurt me, you know, over the course of this time, just to hear, you know, just some of the things that have been said, it is like, you know, we're supposed to be celebrating, you know, these times, you know, having one in 2008, we're supposed to be celebrating and talking about all the great times, but instead, you know, they want to be mad at me because I left and, and went to Miami. Um, as, as a free agent, though. You got to yeah. add that in. As a free as a agent. agent. Just like, you know, it, it, I, I always say, you know, it was one of the – after – in 2008, we were at the ESPYs, and we were, we were coming downstairs and, and found out that, that Posey had uh, signed with New Orleans. And we, you know, we had no idea, no inkling. And we were like, Pose, we come downstairs, like, you signed with New Orleans. What happened? He was like, you know, Danny wouldn't give me the, the fourth year, um, something. I don't know if it was the third or fourth year, but he was like, Danny wouldn't give it to me. So New Orleans offered it to me. And so I was like, well, I, I, I'm not mad at you because, you know, our situation at the time were okay. You know, that's what you got to deal with in your family because you're going through free agent. That's the situation you have to deal with. You know, I can't, I can't live in that man's house and tell him how to do his business. And, and to me, that was, that was like, you, that's what I always knew. And that's what I always expected. Like you, you, it's a business that we all got to make sure that we are on the right side of our families and on the right side of who we are to be able to go out there and do our job. So when it came to it and, you know, we were trying to get this deal done and everything kind of somewhat went awry. And now all of a sudden the backlash came from, and I was like, wait a minute, what happened to being a free agent? And, you know, you moving on, like you had every opportunity to make sure I stayed and everybody knew about this, you know, all year. Cause we tried to negotiate, um, you know, during the year, but it was told to us that we're going to wait till the season ends. So, you know, so be it. So, it, you know, to me, it just, it's just it's been disappointing just to know that when you spend time with people, 
and you share so much, you know, all the stuff that's been said, like, you know, I've been over everybody's house, you know, I've had everybody over my house. Like we've spent so many days, our families together. And then for this to be where it is because they're mad at me because I left, this is,